All right, guys, welcome back to Popo's Woodwork. So today I'm going to be building a, I guess you call it a craft table for my kids because the wife wants me to build it for the kids. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it with the, if you hear that, that's my five-year-old running around with the shop broom. So anyway, she says she's cleaning. So anyway, well, you need to sweep it the other way. You're sweeping it back towards me. So anyway, it's a pretty day outside. We're going to get busy on this. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to try to do it with a twist. I'm going to try to incorporate, you know, hand handmade items with this but i'm gonna try to it may not work if it don't i'm gonna flip it board over and hide it but i'm gonna try to make it where it has a where it has a lift up storage bin up under the end of the table and on the top side i'm gonna use my shapeoko and see if i can't make a checkerboard and cut some checker pieces out that way if they're not using it to draw on and this that and the other they can play checkers so it's just something i want to try it's in my brain so i'm gonna try to take what's in my brain and put it in some wood it's in my brain. I do have a brain. So anyhow, with that said, the uh, lumber that I bought, I, I don't have plans for this, like 90% of the stuff that I do. So I'm just going on a whim. I bought, people keep messaging me. So I bought three two by four by eight foot pieces of, uh, well, two by four studs. And then I brought, which I'll spin you around and show you. I bought a 30 inch piano hinge and then I bought a project panel because I needed that wide wood and you you can't uh you you can't <laughs> she wants to be on it so bad here they she's about to die to be on camera wave at the camera here's my other one my big girl okay so itching itching if y'all got kids y'all understand what I'm going through so anyway but they out here in the shop with me and I enjoy that. So I'm gonna spin you around and show you the wood that I got and then we're gonna get started and just play this by ear as we go along. All right, so here's the three two by fours that I got. Let me move this where I was just doing a previous video. All right, so I bought a, it's just a piano hinge, it's 30 inches. Then I bought this little piece. This is that premium premium pine. It's uh, about a half inch thick. I'm gonna, this is what I'm planning on trying to cut the checker pieces out of. And then I just bought this project panel, which I have no clue what size this is. I should have uh, prepped this before I started shooting this video. Here we go. So I know it's sideways, but it's three quarters inch thick, 24 inches wide, and 36 inches long right there. So that's the project panels that I like to buy when I do these. Plus, when you stain them, they look really good. So this is the start. Uh, my plan is the table is going to sit kind of like this sitting to us, to us now. And then I'm going to take this hinge, kind of like an old school teacher's desk or a student's desk. I'm going to take a hinge and I'm going to cut a slot to where I can raise this up and close it. And then I have another piece right here up under that hat rack. That's going to be the bottom since I already had that. So that's just another quarter inch piece of plywood. I think it's two foot by two foot. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and try to get to cutting and figuring out what we're gonna do. Here's my cut list. I've got four two by fours cut down to 30 inches long, two of them cut down to 29 inches long, and then these two are 21 and a quarter. So basically this is the four legs. This right here is gonna be the front and the back crossbar. And the short ones are gonna be the side crossbars. Now, I went ahead, as you can see, I went ahead and run mine through the planer, which my blade is, I must have hit a nail. I got a much sand on that one. But I did that. You don't have to run them through a planer. I did it just to dress the edges up, and it makes sanding a whole lot easier because it takes off that black stamp that they put on it. So basically now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the board sitting on the workbench, at least I think I am, and I'm going to lay the wood out on this and figure out how I'm going to put it together. I think I'm going to use pocket screws to uh, the Craig jig to put it together because it'd be a stronger joint. So bear with me, let me figure out how I want to put it together and then we'll move on along.
All right, I'm sorry for the background noise. I, I'm doing double duty. I got my CNC machine running too. But my other piece of wood didn't pan out, so I had this scrap piece of MDF, and I'm just gonna have to make it work. So what I'm gonna do, I lay the table here. I'm gonna draw a line all the way around, and then I'm gonna cut this so it fits inside of here, so it'll be the bottom of my table. But uh, yeah, that 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 sheet over there that I had didn't pan out, so you gotta do what you gotta do with scrap you got in the garage. So let me go ahead and get this thing done. Okay, so if you're wondering what this is, I don't know if you could hear me before, but because I had the CNC going, I put these three strips, that's some more scrap that I have from some flags that I do in the bottom, just temporary, temporary, I'm tired. You know what I'm trying to say. I got, I'm busy in a one-legged man, a butt kicking contest. So anyway, I put these three here. I had to use this scrap piece of MDF. What, so what those three are gonna be for is for me to get this in here, if I get the orientation right. <clears throat> I'm trying to do CNC projects, trying to build a table, and trying to mulch all at the same time. All right, so basically, they're going to be there. I smashed the dickens out of my finger. But uh, they're going to be there for right now to hold it. And I might go back and put some screws and then fill it in. I might leave them. I mean, it's, it's stronger than I thought it was. I might leave them because, like I said, it's going to be at my kid's desk, and then you're going to see the ends. But... Worst case scenario, you can run some screws through it and then, uh, or either glue it, shoot it with breads, and then take these back off. But I really think I'm gonna leave it. So I'm not gonna worry with it. Now that I got that part done, I'm gonna lay wherever the heck I did with the top. Here it is. Let's so I'm gonna lay the top down like this and then figure out where I need to cut it to make the the slot which I probably to be honest I'll probably stay with the lines where the two by fours meet the legs and uh that way you can cut it and I'm gonna I probably put like a little handle or something right here where they can grab a hold to it hindsight if you do it all over again inset it about a half inch and give you enough lip to grab it but uh we'll make it work but any hoot. So now I'm gonna measure over here, draw me a line, and then cut this out with my bandsaw or either my jigsaw. And then that way I can apply the hinge, raise this thing up and mount the hinge to be done. I know it sounds like a, I'm speaking Japanese, but it'll make sense here in a minute. trying to stand out of the garage so you can hear me a little bit better so we're on plan b my project panel when i was cutting it 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 just shattered i guess that's what you get when you're dealing with glued together pieces of wood and you never know what it's gonna be like when it's at the store so anyway yeah so it's the outer edge broke on me which is not a total waste it's 20 dollars piece of wood so i'll take that piece and turn it into a sign on my cnc and sell it so basically i had three quarter inch blonde wood plywood that was sitting right there that I somebody had bought that I had made a big sign out of and that was left over so when you're desperate you have to use what you got to use like I said in my last previous thing with the MDF so now the plywood is going to be my top so what I did is I laid it down here traced around the edges now that this piece is actually bigger I'm gonna do like I should have done and do at least a one to a half inch hangover all the way around. I'll probably do one inch all the way around. So I got plenty, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna put the phone down and cut that out and then we'll move on from there. All 
All right, so here's what it looks like, which I guess that board busting on me worked out a lot better because I like the way this looks, minus the fact that it's plywood versus the solid wood look. But anyway, so let me show you the back side. There's the piano hinge on the back. And then of course, when you raise it up, now I'm gonna get like a cable for either a rope and attach it. I might get those little arms that you put on toy box lids. It's, that way when it opens, it'll only go so far and it won't slam back down without uh, you bending them, making them come down. That way it won't get no fingers. All right, go ahead and set it down. Now I'm still in the air. I was thinking about taking, which this thing finally finished. You see what I just cut, what I cut out over here. So I was thinking about taking my CNC and putting this in the center and doing maybe like a 10 by 10 checkerboard in the center. But if it don't work, then I've ruined this whole top. So I may not do that. I may just try to make them a checkerboard on another piece of wood or that one over there that I messed up. You could like do it and put it inside. But uh, so we're, I'm gonna kick that idea around. If I do it, it'll be on the video. If I don't, then it won't. So anyhow, let me clean up some of this sawdust and then we'll finish up the video. Okay, so I took the top off. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> press my luck. So I have, you can see right there is the hinge. I just left that part on. So there's the top. And of course it's longer than my Shapoko is. So I measured center. Center is 19 inches. So I'm just gonna go from here. We're gonna forget about the other end. And I'm going to attempt to cut this checkerboard board pattern. So what I'm gonna do to try to get, what I'm gonna do to try to get this, this pattern here is I'm gonna put an eighth inch bit in here and I'm gonna go, you can see right here, half of a 16th of an inch is 625. So I'm actually gonna carve down and pocket half of a 16th of an inch. And that way it give it just enough of a dip to where I can probably get some paint in there and then sand it, the rest of it off and it'll stay, the squares will stay. At least that's what I'm thinking in my brain. But here goes nothing, we're gonna try it and see. All right, I'm finally done. So what I did is I went ahead and carved my youngest daughter's initial in there, and then for B, and then I did a K in this. So these are gonna be the checker pieces. And here's the table, what it looks like when it's done. So got the piano hinge on the back, the checkerboard in the middle. And if you're wondering what this stain is, it's dark walnut. And then of course black paint and then the lighter color stain is that ip switch if i say that right so basically now we can open this and you have the storage i still need to stain this but i gotta have a, help, a helper to hold it so that's it now when they do their crafts they can sit at the table and do the crafts on the table or either one can get on each side and play a game of checkers which they like to do all right guys so that's it i don't know what we'll call it i guess we can call it a craft slash checker table you know with the cnc pretty much the sky's the limit if you can think of it and put it in a computer you get what whatever you put in that laptop or that computer you'll get out in that cnc so that's that's why i enjoy having it but anyway i know this is kind of a long video i apologize for that but Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, shoot me a comment and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. My neighbor's over here looking at me from a yard like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a telephone. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the video down. I'm tired. I gotta finish putting mulch down too because I'm losing daylight. But anyhow, thank y'all for watching. Have a nice day. Comment, like, subscribe, the whole ordeal. You, you know the routine. See you later on the next project.